Hi again, I'm Miss Dyer and I am the counselor, school counselor that deals with students whose last names begin with the letters S through Z. And this segment of our video is on ACT and SAT. So let me get that up for you. Okay, so there are two um, enter college entrance exams that are pretty standard for any person that wants to go into college. Um, and they usually take these exams in high school. So you will often hear about the ACT and the SAT. Um, the ACT can be found at www.actstudent.org. This is a link um, once you get this presentation. And then the SAT, you can find information on www.collegeboard.org. Um, basically, the differences between the two, all U.S. colleges accept ACT scores and SAT scores and or SAT scores. Um, the tests are for the ACT are in reading, English, math, and science. And the tests in SAT are reading, writing, language, and math. Um, the ACT is a little bit shorter, two hours and 55 minutes. And then if you decide to take the optional essay part of it, that's an additional 40 minutes. Um, the SAT is three hours and an optional 50 minute essay. Um, ACT gives you composite scores without the writing from one to 36. A 36 is the highest score you can get on an ACT exam. Composite scores without writing for the SAT are 400 to 1600. Um, on the ACT, all sections are multiple choice. On the SAT, most sections are multiple choice. And for both of them, only correct answers are scored. Um, for the ACT, the approximate cost without writing is $50.50. Approximate cost for the SAT is $47.50. Now that is, um, you know, about the same, pretty standard. If you feel like you might qualify for a waiver to get that cost down, you can talk to your counselor about that and we can um, talk to you about the requirements for that. Okay, so that's that page. So for SAT, um, this the College Board is the one that handles SAT, AP, which is Advanced Placement, and also College Search and Admissions Tools. So what you want to do in order to sign up to take the SAT is to sign into your free College Board account. Um, your parent or your counselor cannot register for you. For you. you have to do this online for yourself. Um, you provide your full legal name and any other identifying information that they ask. Make, make sure it's, this is really important, make sure it's the exact same name and information shown on your photo ID. Okay, not like a nickname or anything like that your official name. Um, decide if you want to answer other questions about yourself. Um, they will ask you things about your background, where are you thinking about going to college, things like that. Um, it does take time, but it's worth it if you want college and scholarship opportunities and organizations to find you. So that can, they'll plug that into the system. Um, Right here on our um, thing, it says learn why you should opt in to student search services. So you can click on that and find that out. Also, um, decide whether or not you wanna sign up for the SAT with SA. Um, if you have an idea of which colleges you'd like to attend, you can always see on here which colleges recommend or require the SAT. Um, then you upload a photo that meets very specific photo requirements and you check out and then you actually print your admi admission ticket um, when you register for the exams. SAT offers a lot of free practice and um, some also paid practice in order to help you prepare for this. So these are all links right here, the SAT practice on Khan Academy. There's also several practice tests on this website. There's some study groups and there's also sample questions that can help you absolutely prepare for taking the SAT. And then here is a um, clip on how to register for the SAT online. It will walk you through different steps for that. 
The ACT um, is found at act.org, Solutions for College and Career Readiness. So make sure that if you have taken the ACT before, um, just in review, if you don't know this, all of the juniors will take the state ACT for free that's offered by the state on a day, a school day in March. Um, it will be online. That is the platform that we use and all juniors will be able to take that for free. That's your one chance to take it for free. Um, so let's say that you want to take it again after you've already, already taken the junior year one. So you want to have your previous scores handy because it has your ACT ID at the top and that's a really important aspect to link all of your tests together. Um, you will need to create this, create your account. You are able to send your scores to four different schools of your choice for free as you register. Now, sometimes you don't know when you register what schools you would like, but if you have projected score or projected schools, um, I would definitely take advantage of the four schools of your choice because you may need to pay a fee later at a later date as more colleges won't accept your scores directly from the high school transcript. As of right now, our ACT scores are on our transcripts. Um, if you do not have your score report, here's a link to contact ACT and that tells you how to request your score report. Um, ACT offers free test prep. So there's ACT test prep. Um, there's test preparation by Kaplan. There's free ACT questions of the day and also a free ACT practice test. All of those can help you um, better prepare to take the ACT. Um, there are some ACT review sessions coming up this year that we wanted to announce to you. So um, one of these review sessions is going to help you learn how to improve your ACT score. So you not only review ACT test content, but you also review test taking strategies. Um, this is going to be happening at Liberty Benton High School, um, October 13th and 14th and February 7th and 9th. And the workshop is free. Um, look in announcements for us to give you more information on how to sign up for that if you need to but just kind of keep those dates in mind if you are wanting to attend a free um, ACT review session. Also, Sylvan Learning Center for every year for us does an ACT boot camp. It is on President's Day, which is this year, Monday, February 21st of 2022. It's about a month out. No, it's a couple day or a couple oh, about a week out of when we're going to take the state ACT for juniors. Um, that boot camp is from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We do not have school that day. Um, that cost is around $75. So make sure you watch for announcements. And I even put a link for announcements where you can find announcements. Um, and we will make those announcements about how you can register for the boot camp. Um, the announcements are on the FHS website too, just in case the link doesn't work or something. You can always read announcements on there. Important testing dates. Um, okay, so any of these that have a star beside them means that they, we do offer that at Finley High School. Um, for the a SAT and the ACT, we offer those on Saturdays for um, usually, I mean, it always is in the morning. So October 2nd, December 4th, May 7th for the SAT, we are giving those exams here at Finley High School. Um, for the ACT, October 23rd, the December 11th one, the February 12th one, and the April 2nd one, all are available for you to sign up for on ACT.org to take at Finley High School. Now, if you wanted to take one on June 11th, there are ACTs offered on that date. Um, you would just have to look on the website to find another school that you could take it at. But you are allowed to do that if that's something that you would want to do. Um, another important thing that people have been really asking about is the PSAT. Um, this is mainly for juniors, but some sophomores do take this um, for practice on the SAT. Um, it also is able to give you some scholarship opportunities as juniors. Um, the National Merit Scholarships are um, 
integrated with that. And that's how people get to be a national merit finalist or semifinalist um, is through taking the PSAT. Um, that is going to be given on October 16th. That's a Saturday. You can pick up registrations, registration forms beginning October 1st in the counseling office. And you, this is one that you do not have to sign up for online. Okay. This is like a paper one and you pay and you give your paper back. So be looking for those announcements that say, Hey, come and pick up your PSAT um, registration form and where you are supposed to turn it into and by when. Okay. There is also a pre ACT that we will be giving on October 30th. That's another Saturday. Um, that is for mainly for 10th graders to help them prepare for the ACT. So both, I believe the PSAT and the pre ACT right here have links that you can read more about them on our presentation. Um, for the pre ACT, you want to pick up registration forms beginning October 18th in the counseling office. And then here's information about our free state ACT for juniors which will be happening for most on March 1st. There is a testing time that um, allows us to test digitally, but almost all of our juniors will be taking, at least starting the ACT on March 1st. And that again is free. 